makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force, and the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. Ugh. Time for alternative transportation. Harry probably knows more about Fisk than anyone. <laughs> oh, sometimes I fantasize about moving to Hawaii, but there'd be nothing to swing from. Go see Harry like this. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe. You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Oh. Harry. I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's gotta be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it. And protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself.
Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes, you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. What is that? As if I didn't have enough problems. Now I have to worry about Oscorp being stolen out from under me. Donald Menken's supposed to work for me. And for now, he's doing what I say. But it's obvious he'd like to run the place. Then there's Wilson Fisk. He keeps offering to buy the company. I might even sell it, if I didn't need Oscorp's research division to find a cure for my disease. I've got to watch them. They'd both stab me in the back without thinking twice. I caught up with Peter Parker. We used to be pretty good friends when we were kids, and our dads were partners. I was hoping he might be able to tell me more about his father's research, but he doesn't know any more than I do. Less, actually. Based on Dad's papers, I get the impression Richard Parker went on the run because Dad wanted to weaponize his research. Typical Norman Osborne. He either ran off or killed the one guy who might have been able to save his life. Huh. A little early for Halloween, isn't it? Now that's a keeper. I hate to do this behind Harry's back, but he's been acting strange lately. I'll only give this to Jameson if it looks like Oscorp's breaking the law. Biology, genetics, medicine. Pretty heavy stuff for the Harry Osborne I remember. Him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. Thank <laughs> you. 
Funny how when crime's up, it's my fault. And when it's down, everyone forgets I exist. If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. He's in no mood to wait. I saw your boss at the Bugle on TV, ranting about Spider-Man again. That haircut and mustache are not doing him any favors. Poor Harry. I want to help him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different for me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune! They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, 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 just... just go. Harry... ...is really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. <laughs> 